everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's Laurie from Cook Scrap Craft and today I've got my layout share video for you. So these are all the layouts that I made during the month of December. Um, something interesting is that I actually got more layouts completed than I thought because I was supposed to fly over the winter break and ended up having plane tickets with Southwest. And if you were paying attention to the news at all at the end of the year, um, you'll know that Southwest imploded in on itself and um, didn't fly any planes, basically. So I didn't get to go anywhere. I did get to come back home and make some scrapbook layouts. So um, some of these I have process videos for. Some of these are going to be sneak peeks. So the process videos are coming throughout um, the month of January. So definitely make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on those process videos. If you're new and you like what you see here, click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on when the process videos go live. All right. So this is actually one of the things I'm talking about for um, sneak peeks. There is a process video for this coming up real soon. It's a very special YouTube hop, so you want to make sure that you are following that. Um, this is one that I did, I think, following a Chamel sketch, and it's just kind of a general, there's no picture, it's just a general, like, whatever picture. When I print my December pictures um, for my regular album, I'll put a Christmas photo there, right? I actually think I might use the photo of me and my daughter on Christmas Eve. I think that would be actually pretty good for this one. So just a layout that I made using whatever leftover stuff, Christmas stuff that I had from my stash. Um, I think I'm getting Christmas stuff for Christmas, but I haven't gotten those presents yet because I missed out on second Christmas with my dad. But I will be doing a January haul during some point in January, uh, I just don't have my January stuff to play with quite yet. So anyway, just a fun thing there. Um, this is a two-pager that I think is coming up real soon too. So stay tuned for that. That was fun to put together. Um, I made this one. Oh my gosh, I Frankensteined this one. Look at that. Three pieces of paper. And this one is washi taped. This one I think I have... Um, double-sided adhesive keeping it together but that's fun and I think this is based on a Chamel one too but I was obviously not using the Chamel stuff this is an Echo Park spring collection from a couple of years ago and I don't think I did a process video for this um, this is actually the the cover sheet to the collection um, I just liked that it had all the different patterns so it's almost like like a striped pattern paper in itself so I use that um, this dolly card is actually uh, something I got from paper issues when you place an order there's always like a little note card in there that says thanks for placing the order and um, Dolly Parton is on this one I don't know which ones they have I actually haven't placed a paper issues order in a while so I don't know what cards they're sending out now but this is a Dolly Parton themed virtual 5k so that's why I added that there this one does have a process video. I think it already went live. Um, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it went live. And this is using up a lot of the Simple Stories Good Stuff collection. They have a new one for 2023, and I think it's called Life is something. Now I can't remember, but it's in my scrapbook.com wish list because I definitely want to I definitely want to do that um with my monthly pocket pages again. And there there'll be a monthly pocket page coming up here pretty soon. Oh, well, you know why don't I just show you? Monthly pocket page for July. Got it done. So this is what I've been doing with just like the random photos that don't really go together or don't need to be like, I don't need to make single layouts for each of these photos. Um, so I've just been kind of putting them here. Uh, circling the dates on these cool calendar pieces. Um, I've been using a lot of different styles of pocket pages to do 2022's um, layout. So yeah, lots of fun. Okay, so this one is, I, I made a note that these are, oh my gosh, and it's sticking to my, ah, it's sticking to my layout. These are the photos that are gonna be on here. So this is a Disney layout. I had a kit from scrap -a latte and so it's a two-page. I didn't do a process video for this one, but it's a two-page kit. It basically told you where to put everything, but I mean, you could you could use different stickers or, or whatever if you wanted to. I still need something to put it like a, a title here or something, or maybe I'll throw in another photo. I don't know. There was supposed to be, well, you can see here, this says that there's like a big cut apart thing. Um, and it says in the, in the um, directions, add magic happens here. So I don't know if I missed out on that because this was from maybe a page kit that Photoplay actually taught live at the scrapbook store um, or if this just didn't make it into the particular kit that I purchased. I had everything else, but I didn't have that. So or unless somebody, unless you guys know of a way that I can get this, let me know because I would love to have that to add. I don't have a die. I don't have a cutting machine, but I would love to have this to add to this page. So let me know if you guys know if that's something that is available or 
or where I could get something similar. Um, this is another one uh, inspired by Chamel. This is a three by four cut apart page, but I just used it as like the background and that's what she did as well. So that's really what inspired the whole thing. And then these are just random pieces from my stash. Um, literally like just random pattern papers that I just layered up, random embellishments, um, just some photos of enjoying, you know, the last days of summer. Um, this is one that I don't think I did a process video for, and it might be a Chamel one. I'm not totally, not totally sure. I didn't write it down or anything, but, um, it uses up a lot of random stuff from my stash. Again, just leftover scrap paper, um, leftover embellishments. These are simple stories. Uh, a lot of this is, some of this embellishment stuff is simple stories. These words here as well that I've actually forgot I had. <laughs> so uh, that's good, not good. And this is an old one that I forgot I had as well. Um, this is a, a rub-on that I got um, for one of the Best of Both Worlds kits. And then these came in a Best of Both Worlds kit as well. Um, so yeah, I really like the way this turned out. This is actually me and my daughter at my mom's gravesite um, over the summer. All right, finishing up some of my Hershey Park photos. These, I think, were the last four photos from our April trip to Hershey Park. Um, so I used the Echo Park Spring Collection, and I have a process video for this. So um, I think this is part of the Scrapbook and Cards Today inspiration series. There's a whole playlist of me taking um, sketches or layouts or or whatever, what have you from the Scrapbook Cards Today magazine um, and turning them into 12 by 12 layouts. All right, here's another one that I did, super fun, using up a lot of like old summer stuff, pattern papers, embellishments. These are pictures that I took at a splash pad that we went to over the summer. And I, of course, you have to get like the big bucket dumping the water on the kids. So that's what I journaled with here. I used two colors of Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Spray um, to add a little bit of more fun to this. And I did a hand-drawn border. Um, and basically, it's just a lot of paper layering. Like, that's that's what I feel like I've been doing a lot toward the end of this month is just a lot of paper layering. So that's been fun. Um, this one is an interesting one because... So these are two photos from this summer. But this layout, I'm not lying to you when I say that I made it before my daughter was born. And I've just had it ready to go, ready for whatever photos I can find. Um, the matting behind the photos, I added this and this I added, and I added a few um, extra sequins and little flower stickers and heart stickers from um, an Echo Park birthday collection. But I just, you know, took out the stuff that was birthday themed. Um, you've seen me use that collection before in other process videos. Um, but this is about an ice cream place in St. Louis, in the St. Louis area, and they have vegan ice cream, and it's really, really good. And then, of course, it's perfect for this ice cream pattern paper, which I think is old crepe paper. Um, I think these are old crepe paper, too. So, yeah, I, I've had this this page ready to go since 2015. I'm not lying to you. Um, and here it is, finally, finally ready. And it's, you know, a few finishing touches, you know? So do you guys ever scrapbook um, stuff? Like, I mean, I did it here, but this one is not going to sit around for... Um, you know, six years, six or seven years waiting for a photo. But I'm wondering if you guys ever scrapbook without photos and just kind of like get something down on the page. And then when you're ready, you put the photos down. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you do. Okay. So this is one that I did five photos in one layout. So I think there's a process video for this one. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, Cause I know I did, I know I did two, five photos on one layout thing. So it might've been this one. I, honestly, I don't remember, but it's, it's, if it, it, I think they went, they went live at the end of the year. Um, so anyway, so five photos, two here, these are cut down to three by four. These are cut to two by three. Again, just some paper layering, using up some random stuff from my stash. This one definitely is a process video. So here's the photo flap that's not adhered because I'm going to put this in a page protector and stick this on top of the page protector. So when then you're flipping through the album, you just go like, oh, what's behind here? It's so easy. You don't have to take the whole thing out of the, the page protector. So this needs to stay together. Um, here's a two-page zoo layout that I can't remember if I did a process video for. I did so many of these in advance that I just... I don't remember at this point, but there might be a process video for this one. And this is definitely either um, a, like a page map sketch or a scrap lift. Um, this one is definitely a sneak peek because it's part of the um, December challenge yourself, or, sorry, January challenge yourself challenge. So stay tuned for this one so you get all the details on what the theme is and how to enter. There's a chance to win a prize. 
I just did this one and I think I'm doing a process video for it. These are just two photos from the Butterfly House. So stay tuned if you want to know more about this one. Although I don't think I did a process one. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. But that's why, see, I'm keeping you on your toes. You got to come back to the channel to find out. All right, this one um, I did a process video for. This is for the December the scrap room jumpstart sketch challenge. Oh, you know what? This is not a process video because it's the December the scrap room Fergie Fest formula challenge. So they have a lot of challenges that go on throughout the month and I haven't really played with them in a while, but I really wanted to because I love them. I love the jumpstart sketch challenge and the Freaky Fest formula challenge. Like those are my challenges. So I'm definitely going to do their January ones. Um, not sure if process videos for those will go live, but I'll try to like share them, um, well, I'll share them in a layout share if I don't do a process video. But this is really fun because I got to use my Creative Memories Circle Cutter. This is just another one that uses a lot of paper layering and uses up some of the leftovers from the Simple Stories Good Stuff collection. This background page is Doodlebug. And then I cut this down to, I want to say I cut like a half inch off each side so it makes a square for this craft paper. Um, and then I did a couple of splatters with some Tim Holtz. Just a silly, funny, like I didn't have space for this in my monthly pocket page. And I loved the close up with the like the frame over it that says hello. So I, I was like, that can get its own thing. Um, and then this is August. So I actually cut this, fussy cut this out of a three by four cut apart and popped it up on some foam squares that you can't really see. It's, it's inside. Um, these embellishments are inside as well, but this embellishment is on the outside. So I kind of go back and forth on how I do it. Um, yeah. And then I just kind of kept the background to be the, so it kind of looks like there's the peach colored paper, almost like it's a 12 by 12 full size of this, but it's really not. Um, and then I had this piece going across to kind of like tie everything together. Um, yeah, just a really fun, really fun way to finish that. So I still need to do September, October, November, December. I don't have any of those pictures printed. I need to do that. Those are some scrappy goals. I need to write down my scrappy goals, actually. Um, what are your scrappy goals for 2023? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that these layouts were inspiring to you and that you get some scrappy time in, in the new year. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.